looking for the best return on your college investment. That's today's big idea. A new tool in development could make choosing a, a school a bit easier and a bit cheaper as well. And this, this, folks, this could be a game changer given in the decade since 2000, tuition at public colleges has shot up about 42%. The big idea comes straight from the White House. Take a listen to President Obama's pitch in the State of the Union. My administration will release a new college scorecard that parents and students can use to compare schools based on a simple criteria, where you can get the most bang for your educational buck. My favorite guest today, joining me now live, Dr. Benjamin Dunlap, president of my alma mater, Wofford College. Good to see you, sir. Uh, good to see you, Craig. Uh, the tool is still in the works, but the New York Times reports that, quote, it would probably require a change in federal law to put it into effect. The 2008 Higher Education Opportunity Act prohibits the government from keeping the kind of information that would be needed, tracking millions of people's educational backgrounds. Dr. Dunlap, if the law gets changed and officials track and store that information, how valuable of a tool could a scorecard be? Uh, well, look, I think President Obama is exactly right that the health of American democracy ultimately depends on providing greater access to higher education. Obviously, the, the ever spiraling upward cost of higher education is a major concern. So consumers, which is to say prospective students and their parents, really deserve a better knowledge of what they're about to buy. Um, upwards of $200,000 at many private universities today. So providing some metrics, um, uh, a scorecard in effect, um, it seems to me a, a, a very reasonable proposal. Um, those metrics will have to be determined. Uh, some are easier to gather than others. Yeah. Um, the, the problem with self-reported metrics is, of, of course, you've got to assure accuracy as well. As a, as a professor, as a college president as well, you've been at the top levels of higher education for some decades now. In the simplest of terms, to what can we attribute the true cost of rising tuition? Uh, well, it's not all water slides and climbing walls. Uh, in fact, it's a very expensive enterprise and, and one that we manage better than anyone in the world. That is, uh, U.S. higher education is still the envy of the world. Um, uh, the problem is, of course, that uh, even uh, those full fee-paying students are paying only a fraction of the cost of higher education. It, it is a, a, a very expensive undertaking. Um, we need financial aid. We certainly need need to spend money wisely. We need to avoid any sort of arms race among frivolities that simply uh, provide the students with modes of entertainment as opposed to learning. Um, uh, but all of that uh, is under reasonable control. Um, I, I think the, the great question um, uh, is uh, with regard to the some 4,000 uh, institutions of higher learning, which represent um, uh, an immense variety uh, of institutions in this country, from the elite private institutions um, to the community, uh, community colleges, uh, the, the technical institutions, um, uh, and in all probability, one size fits all yeah. metrics uh, will not do. Walford College President Dr. Benjamin Dunlap. Uh, sir, good to see you. I know you're retiring this year. So uh, for all of the Terriers out there, thank you so much for your years of service. Thank you, Craig. I'm returning to my natural habitat of the classroom. Uh, wow. I did not know that. You broke some news <laughs> to some folks. Thanks again. Good to see you. So you look great.